Do you want any? Oh. Is that yourself? Oh, I'm here. Oh. oh that was... Oh. oh, my stomach hurts. That was the greatest. I, I think... I think that is definitely the greatest oh. Thanksgiving feast ever. Oh. Oh, that, like, the, all the food and stuff, that was... The oh, desserts. oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh, hey there, YouTube. Hey guys. I'm Jonathan. I'm obviously Tyler. And welcome to Gamebrick Studios. And we just got back from like the greatest feast ever. Like so, so much food. It could, it would like it would make Gordon Ramsay proud. Like it was so, so good. Okay, but uh oh shoot, I just realized we don't have a Thanksgiving video planned. Um, Alright, guys, it's the end of the video. Whoa, whoa, See hold you on, guys. Hold on. Wait, um, hmm. You think what I'm thinking? Yeah. We should you review get the, the Thanksgiving the Christmas presents from What? What do you Review the Thanksgiving? Yeah, oh sorry, I just like cough. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <coughs> okay. Um but I think that's a great idea. Taking a bu taking a bunch of Thanksgiving foods and breaking them on a top hand list. You, what do you think of that? Yeah. Alright, so uh oh we don't have anything prepared for that. We'll be right back, folks. Whoa okay. Alright, that took a little bit for us, but short time for you. Uh, so yeah, right here we've got our top ten board. With our... <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, with our, yeah, and we got our honorable mentions down below since we got twelve items, so two of them are going to be doing, going down there in the bottom. And we also have our... Okay. Yeah. <sighs> list of foods that we're going to be ranking for today. Some of them might be only custom to us, some of them, a lot will be stuff you all know and love. But yeah, I say we get started. Let's start off with the honorable mentions. First, so, first item on the list is shrimp. Yeah. So the reason it's on the list is maybe a bit obvious. Not really Thanksgiving food. Now, don't 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 get us wrong. We, I, I, at least me, really love shrimp. Unless you're unless you're a like shellfish, yeah. then it's a really good food. It's a great party food. It's something a lot of guests usually love to have. Like but, appetizers. Yeah, like appetizers. But then again, not a Thanksgiving food. Just, just an appetizer. Yeah, just an appetizer. Yeah. Number. Well, technically number 11, I guess. With, technically. But then again, still honorable mentions, is artichoke dip. Some of you may be vomiting in your seats right now <laughs> because just from hearing the word artichoke, but you got to try it first because it really is good. honestly really, really a good. good, good dip, especially Thanksgiving dip. Mm -hmm. But then again, dip. That's what knocks it into honorable mentions. It's a dip, not really a food, not a main dish, not something people go craving for. It's just a dip. Yeah, just a dip, but with... With some good Ritz crackers. Ah, oh, really good dip. Okay, so, number 10, the first item on our list. Top 10. Top 10. Yes, number 10 is gravy. Yeah, gravy is the number 10 on the list. Now, some of you guys are saying, whoa, hold, hold, hold up. Gravy already out? Already top 10? Or, sorry, only in 10? Well, Let's get, don't get us wrong, gravy is great with mashed potatoes, great, really adds flavor to a bunch of things. But, only plain gravy. Yeah, just plain, plain gravy isn't really that good. But then again, it gets points because it gives, it helps bring out the flavors in other, in other future foods you will see. Yes. So yeah, that is why it gets number 10. Uh, now, number 9. Number 9 is kind of not really a main, main dish, but it's still really, really good. We have... Rolls, rolls as in bread. Now, now some some people may just buy rolls. Some people just use uh, regular bread for some bread and butter. Them. Yeah, we we uh, personally make our our rolls, and oh, they are really really good. They're good. Yeah, but then again, kind of a side dish, not really important. You guys are thinking, why are they about gravy? It's because gravy is like a sauce. This is this, like a, this like you can food. you can just like you know oh I gotta eat whoa I got bread left you can eat the bread. If the bread is good, then it is good. If the bread yeah. is bad, then it's just going to be okay. Yeah, but just usually, or at least our rolls, really good. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, so, yeah. Number eight. Number eight on the list is... The Relish, Relish tray. tray. Now, some of you guys are, once again, probably asking, why is that even on the list? It's, a, <laughs> it's pickles. No, I don't like pickles. Well... Personally, for us, we like we pickled love. stuff, pickled artich artichokes, asparagus. Red, um, what is it, green olives? Yeah, red, yeah, the red and green olives, regular olives, the sweet, this, sweet pickles. Oh, those are really good. But it's good, like, you know, if you're hungry, it's like a little appetizer waiting for the food to be served. Yeah, and so, yeah, it's just a really good, it's, it just really helps fill in the, for the future foods that are going in. All right, so now, number seven is one of a bit, is kind of a big one. Yeah, a little bit of a biggie. The first main, main item 
mashed potatoes. So some of you guys are probably thinking, how is that <laughs> number seven? How is it on the bottom half of the list? Then again, remember, only mashed potatoes. Oh, no, nothing else. No gravy, no sausage, plain mashed potatoes. Plain mashed potatoes. But yeah, so yeah, it's a really, really good, good, good dish. Don't get us, don't get us wrong. That's why it's above all this other stuff. But I mean, just plain mashed. Like, would you like to explain? It's a, it's a little it's a little flavorless. If you're eating plain mashed potatoes, like you would you would want gravy or like chicken and gravy to go on it. But only mashed potatoes, it's kind of already just by itself. Yeah. All right, number six is. If it'll come off the board. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cranberry sauce. Oh, I love cranberry sauce. Yeah, so do I. But. There are some reasons why it's on number six. So while it is a great dish and <clears throat> like really bring, is, brings a lot of flavor to the table, eventually that flavor can be a bit of a backfire. Because I don't know about you guys, but when, when I'm eating cranberry sauce, if I eat too much, then the taste really starts like staying in my mouth and that tanginess and kind of slight sourness kind of really stays. And then I'm just like, oh, I can't have this taste in my mouth anymore. I have to eat something else. So yeah, just eating it straight in a row, it's not the greatest, but I mean, still, very notable. Very, very notable. It's, it's, it's a good side thing. Yeah. Good side thing. Now. Okay. Number five. We're we're on top five the top, yeah, top five, top half of the list is stuffing. Oh, stuffing is so, so good. Like, oh, when you just get like the right meats or celery, just that little... It is, it's, it's good. It's good as a main dish. You like, you have turkey stuff, but other well, than that stuff, I can't talk. You get a spoon. Eating stuffing. It's just good as a Thanksgiving food. Yeah, it's like a really, like, it's like a staple Thanksgiving food, along with mashed potatoes and turkey, like the big, yeah. one of the biggies. Big, big. Yeah. All right. Number four, we have our first dessert Ooh. of the list. Ooh. We have pumpkin pie. Oh, I love pumpkin Yeah, pumpkin pie. I haven't <clears throat> had, like, oh, just, it's so great when you have that once a year dish. It's, oh. it's good because after you get so full for dinner, you always, no matter how much you eat, have room for a dessert. Yeah, and that dessert is going to be your pumpkin pie. Yeah, your stomach just knows. It's Thanksgiving. You just, just got to save that little sliver for the pumpkin pie. It's just, just, it's, you, you know it. It's you, pumpkin you, you pie. Just know it. Pumpkin pie, the classic, classic Thanksgiving dessert. Great with whipped cream when you just eat it. It's just got that great thick pumpkin taste. Really, really good. All right, but now we are on to the top three foods. All right, so for number three, it is... Another dessert. Cranberry crumble. Sound like a wrestling announcement. <laughs> but it, it, some people don't like pie. Some people don't like pumpkins. That is what your cranberry crumble is for. Goes for you. Yes, it is a great dish. But you might be asking, won't this just run into the same problem as the cranberry sauce? That's where. That's what you would think. Nope, nope, nope. But with all the other ingredients, like the kind of like sprinkles of bread and like the crust and everything, the way it blends in just gives it a new taste. That like get, that kind of like gets rid of that tanginess. You could just keep on eating this. It's great. It's great. It's, okay. it's, just, it's just a good dessert. good dessert. Number two is, and you guys, this one is probably the big controversial one. Shocker. Turkey. What? what? Yeah, you guys may be thinking, the one dish for the year, turkey. The absolute. The face of Thanksgiving. Exactly, the face of Thanksgiving. In second place, how? Well, <laughs> there's some good reason for that. So while turkey is great, like the white meat, the dark meat, the, the skin of it, if you get a good, if you get the a good drumstick. The turkey neck. Oh. Some people like different parts. Yeah, but there is one flaw that kind of brings it down to this area, is if it's dry. Now we, you know, now you guys may, might be saying, oh, just pour gravy over it. Remember, no, nope, no, nope. gravy is not in this universe right now. Yes. So when it when it does, if you if you do get a dry turkey, then that's what kind of really bring brings it down, and it's just like chalking up your mouth and stuff. Yeah. And it's just. Not, it's just a taste you don't, like a texture you don't want to have really. No, no. But, you know what there is? The wishbone. The wishbone. Ah, oh, the wishbone. The class, classic Thanksgiving so tradition. you make your wishes and they come true. Alright, now, number, number one. Place your bets in the comments below, we'll give you a little bit of extra time. Okay, that's good enough. Dremel, please. So, the number one on the list is... Four. If it'll come off the board. Go from the other side. <laughs> so our technical difficulties here. Got it! Green bean casserole! Now some of you guys are like, green beans beat turkey and yes. cranberry crumble. But oh, 
our mom, at, like at, at least, our, like our our family makes, I would say, best. the best, best, the, best, best, best. Like the Gordon Ramsay would be like, you get a t you get a twelve out of ten. Like there's, there's no leftovers ever. There's no leftovers. There's no leftovers of this fish. Yeah, it is just absolutely. Good. I could like eat it every day. That's not an exaggeration. Like the, just the perfect ratio of crunchiness to softness in the food. The taste is incredible. You always want seconds. And you then al thirds, you and always want seconds. And then fifths, and then sixths. Yes, it is just. It goes on. Perfect. The perfect. And that is our top 10 slash 12 list. Please, in the comments, put your own top 10 Thanksgiving food list. Yeah, if you have, maybe just use the foods on here, or if you want to, throw in some extra dishes of your own. If you, yeah. if you guys got a secret family recipe, don't spoil it, though. Give it to me. <laughs> Alright, but uh, this video is just about wrapped up, and you know what? I feel like we should do one more thing before ending out the video. What? Going back to an old, but really reliable Thanksgiving tradition. Thankfulness. Uh, it is called Thanksgiving after all. I guess. So, do you mind if I start us off? Go for it. I am thankful for you guys. You guys have been with us through thick and thin. Like, we may have had some uh, iffy uploading schedules, iffy videos <laughs> at times, and just, we've, ha we've had our ups and downs, but you guys have always been there with us and have helped us, our channel, grow, and it's really, really awesome. You guys are awesome for doing that. For going through this journey with us, I mean, yeah, and sticking with us. Yeah, and this upcoming thing, Patrick's Day, will be our three-year anniversary. Can you believe it? Three years, and you guys have been with us through so through so much. And I can't, and we cannot thank you enough for that. No, me too. Yeah, you can go. I am so thankful for Thanksgiving break. You get to okay. school for a week. You have an amazing dinner. Relax, anything you want. And then you get off and then winter break. <laughs> that is classic Tyler. Uh, but so that just about wraps up our Thanksgiving video. So yeah, thank you so much guys for check for g getting through this whole video with us. Uh, if you guys have anything you're thankful for, in the, then comment down in the comments below. If you guys have any video ideas for us in the future, again, comment down down below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends. Just get the word out. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us at Gaming Brick Studios. Goodbye.